Okay guys, I've had a lot of requests. People want to see um, how, how I tune by ear relatively between each tuning. So we are not going to use the tuner on this except to get started. I'll show you guys exactly where I'm at. So I'm in standard tuning. I call it standard because I don't tune up to true standard G. I'm always a pitch low in F. Um, so I'm in standard tuning, which basically G, D, G, B, D. But if you guys want to know exactly where I'm at, I'll use this tuner and tell you exactly where I'm at. So if you want to get where I'm at and follow along, we can do it that way. I'm going to show you guys five tunings right now. There will be a second part right after this where I'll show you another five or six that I commonly use. So right now I'm in F, C, F, A, C. that throw you off it's the same arrangement as standard G tuning so that's exactly where I'm at from here guys I'm gonna show you what I learned as moonshiner tuning because moonshiner is a song that's most commonly played in this tuning so from standard tuning to get to moonshiner tuning you're gonna note your third string at the second fret to get that A note you're bringing your G on the third string up to an A and you're gonna drop your second string which is a B you're going to drop it to match that A tone. So let's do that now. And you'll notice, guys, in between each tuning, once I, I'm not just retuning one string, that's the main. Uh, task to do, but because our bridges on these banjos are not glued or screwed down, they just float on the head, every time you turn one of these keys up here, it moves your bridge slightly and it throws the other strings out of whack. So whenever you retune, you have to make minor adjustments to the rest of them. So we should be in the neighborhood of Moonshiner tuning right now, which is G, D, G, A, D. Moonshiner tuning. The next tuning I've got here I'm going to show you all is what I had learned as German war tuning. So that's the same as this, but we drop our fifth string down to an F sharp. Now, how do we accomplish that? Well, think about it. On um, the easiest way, our first string is a, is a D note. So if you bring your, if you note your first string um, all the way up at the fifth fret, you get a G note. And that's where our fifth string is at now. So the fifth string right now matches the first string at the fifth fret. But we want that fifth string to be an F sharp. So it's simple. Note your first string at the fourth fret, and that sounds an F sharp tone. And drop your fifth string to match it. Let's do that now. Sorry, German war tuning, sorry. So that's German war tuning. From German war tuning, we're going to go to Rubin tuning, and that's the same but you drop your third string down to an F sharp. So, if you're already in German war tuning, it's easy. You just make your third string match your fifth string, F sharp. If you're not already um, in German war with your F sharp on your fifth string, what you're gonna do is note your bass string, your fourth string at the fourth fret, and that gives you the F sharp sound, and you're gonna drop your third string to match this tone. So 
from Reuben, let's take you guys to the what's called F tuning. And I play Cumberland Gap out of this. Um, I recently did I'm Dying Mother out of this, uh, Drunkard's Doom. I play my interesting, uh, my, my original arrangement of Jesse James out of this tuning. So to get to the F tuning, uh, we're going to basically uh, bring, your, bring your third string back up to where it's G. So note the fourth string at the fifth fret. Then we're going to bring our second string all the way up from where it's A right now up to a C. And the way we accomplish that, now that our third string is a G again, we're going to note the third string at the fifth fret to get that C tone and bring the second string up. So now to check all your other strings, we're going to do some more relative tuning. So in this, so now if the second string is a C, then the uh, first string needs to match it when the second string is noted at the second fret. And now uh, we need to bring our fifth string down one more step to an F. The way we go from an F sharp on the fifth string to an F is we note the first string at the third fret. Remember, the F sharp tone is at the fourth fret on the fifth on the first string. Um, the G tone is at the fifth fret on the first string. So that means, and you can be able to when you get more used to this, you'll be able to predict this kind of stuff and figure it out. It's just a grid, this neck. Um, the first string at the third fret makes our F sound. So drop your fifth string to match that first string at the third fret. we should be in the neighborhood of F tuning and then you get this chord that I've showed you guys before and I'll play Cumberland Gap out of this What most people will refer to as Cumberland Gap tuning is, is different than that, and I actually don't use that tuning. So this is my Cumberland Gap tuning. A lot of people call it F tuning, because you get that F shape. Do a lot of stuff out of that. Um, so from here, let's try to do one more on this first part of the video. I want to show you guys East Virginia tuning. So since our fifth string is already in F, and our second string is already a C, Remember, we're in um, F, D, G, C, D right now. Well, East Virginia tuning that I learned from George Gibson is the same as this. It's just instead of making this full F chord with the fourth string noted at the third fret, you're going to drive your fourth string up to where it makes this tone, that F tone, open. So, uh, and I don't really know a good way to do that other than just by listening. So. That's a pretty distinct. Du, 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 du. So we're now in East Virginia tuning. That's F, F, G, C, D. And I can show you how to play that real quick. And make some adjustments. Very young. 
young lady Lord, her name and age East Virginia tuning guys. So we, we spent about 10 minutes on this and I've got another six or seven tunings that I want to show you guys. So I'm going to break here and you guys will see me again shortly. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.